Now, if you're playing around with the Arduino, um, you'll probably at some stage want a display to display measured parameters and so on and so forth. And uh, so what you might do is choose one of these 16 by 2 LCDs. And uh, this one is one that's uh, on a shield and it's got a few push buttons there as well. And uh, they're all wired up to the analog A0 input and you can just measure the different voltages they produce. So I'm just going to shove that display onto the Arduino like that. Now that won't work because I need to reset it. And there it is. Hello world and it starts counting. And that's the standard uh, liquid crystal hello world program from the Arduino's uh, set of libraries. You just simply go to examples and it's down here in liquid crystal and then finally there it is hello world now there are a million and one videos on YouTube explaining how to use this particular liquid crystal the 16 by 2 and some of the bigger ones the 20 by 4 and so on and so forth so I'm not going to do that what I'm going to do is look at some of the alternatives so the first of the alternatives is the Nokia 5110 LCD uh, display. And uh, this one has 84 by 48 pixels. And as well as showing uh, characters, you can also show little graphic elements here. I've got a bar graph at the bottom there and a sort of funny graphical display on the top right. And what's so good about this display is it's incredibly cheap. So if you look at uh, eBay here, we've got one of these units here on sale for £1.80, $2.87, and that's with free postage. And this particular one is from TX Hang Electronic, uh, who go by the seller name of Alice110-1983. Now the second display type I'm going to be looking at are these tiny little OLED displays. And I've just shoved my magnifying glass in front of the camera lens because this thing is so incredibly small. Um, if you look at the uh, connection pins across the top, they are a tenth of an inch apart. So let's take the magnifying glass away. There's the little display. Now, so far, I've only managed to get it to display a sort of scrolling binary pattern. But if I compare it with the Nokia display, you can see how incredibly small it is. Um, this is a... Uh, SPI or pseudo SPI four wire interface, uh, quite easy to uh, drive. Although this, unlike the um, 16 by 2 LCD, has no built in font, so you have to uh, create your own font in software. Uh, so this one is this particular model here. Uh, they're a bit more expensive, these uh, it's £7.53, $11.99, and this came from. H-A-R-U-Y-R, Haruya K-B, um, from eBay. And the final display type that I want to have a look at are these LED dot matrix modules. Now, you can probably just about see that I've got two of these modules cascaded together. And you can cascade these uh, pretty much indefinitely in two dimensions, so we could build quite a, a big display with these things. Um, these are 8x8, obviously, the modules. So because I've got two of them here, that's 16x8. Um, and they're very cheap. They're about £2 each. Now these are slightly more bother because you have to... Uh, they come as a kit and you have to solder the parts onto the board. And that surface mount chip is uh, pretty tricky to solder and of course if you want to build a big display you're going to have a lot of these things but um, they well this was for two so it was only £4.38 $6.98 for two units these came from Alice 110-1983 um, so they're about £2 a module so far I've got two modules and again all I've managed to do so far is just write an incrementing binary sequence to them but um, I will uh, do separate videos for each of these three display types 
the uh, Nokia 5110 display. Sometimes it's known as the um, 8448 because it's 84 by 48 pixels. A little tiny 128 by 64 OLED and the LED matrix modules. Separate videos for all these three, but I just wanted to do a little introduction. Uh, come on camera, focus up, that's it. A little introduction to the displays before I launch into the individual videos.